To say you gotta know somebody Or know somebody To get somewhere these days To say you know that's alright Yeah, that's alright Cause you know that's alright with me Yeah, you know that's alright Yeah, that's alright Cause you know that's alright uh, Like crazy and then we just, you know Got together in this mastermind meeting And I was, uh, just Mastermind meeting is kind of like an advisory board of directors. Anybody read Think and Grow Rich knows what I'm talking about. If you haven't read Think and Grow Rich, you need to get the book. It's from, what, 1912? But anyway, Bill and I met up in this mastermind, and we're talking about all these ideas, because I come up with a million ideas. And um, and one day, we're the, we, we decided to cancel the mastermind, because we what we decided was there's nothing else to do right now except for get busy buying real estate. So. Bill's uh, author of a wonderful book, Addicted to Real Estate. Many of you have it. He's on the radio show ESPN. And uh, he's uh, taken his whole portfolio and played Monopoly with it. Took his, all of his greenhouses, converted them into one red hotel. Took other greenhouses, converted them into another red hotel. So he uh, plays the game for real in real life. So ladies and gentlemen, Phil Falcone. Thank everybody for coming out here tonight. We're trying to do something a little different tonight. Um, like Jeremy said, we met eight years ago, and then we, we started spending a lot of time together this year. And, you know, I wrote a chapter in my book. It's, it's called, I Don't Like Anybody Knowing Anything I Don't Know. So if I think you know something that I don't know, you know, I want to try to learn it. I want to hang around with you. I want to associate with you, the theory of association. So I've been associating with this guy heavily all year. And I still can't figure out half of the stuff he does. Uh, he's a really, uh, really brilliant, outside the box kind of guy. And if you can spend some time to hang out with him, you're definitely going to learn something. So what, what got us here today, we had kind of an epiphany. We're both going to all these real estate seminars. We're both reading all these books. We're constantly trying to learn, 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 and I came up with an epiphany and I said, we have to stop this. We have to stop this right now. Stop, not that you ever want to stop learning about real estate, but it's time. It's time. It's the time is right to get busy buying. We need to stop going to seminars, stop having masterminds, stop talking to everybody and their brother and going to real estate meetings every night. We need to get busy buying real estate. And we came up with a philosophy, and what we want to do tonight is we want to share it with you. And uh, because we love to, to help people, we love to you know, network with people, and we figure it's going to come back to us ten times over. We've got a lot of ways that the people in this room can get involved in it, so that's what we want to talk about tonight. So uh, I'm just going to go over myself real quick. For those of you who don't know me, I know a lot of you have seen me speak before, but um, uh, everybody calls me Philadelphia Phil. Uh, because I'm from Philadelphia, because I tried to buy up most of Philadelphia, and because uh, I live in Warminster now, Warminster Phil just sounds terrible. So uh, I love this business. I am uh, completely and totally addicted to it. That's why I called my book "Addicted to Real Estate." I uh, I just uh, I love it. I, I I'm as excited about it today as I ever have been since the day I got into it in 1989. So I'm in my 21st year of uh, full-time real estate investing and it's just it's one of those things where if you apply yourself to it it pays you back big time you know I don't think you get rich fast in this business I think you get rich slow and that's okay with me so if you can hang around long enough uh, the rewards are tremendous I'm in my second cycle and uh, I have big big plans about where I'm gonna go with it so uh, one of the things tonight, one of my goals tonight, if you've ever seen me speak, I always talk about the theory of, so of association. You become the average of the five people you spend the most time with. And I'm constantly trying to, to spend my time with people who are successful people, real estate related people. What a great way to associate with all these people that are in the room tonight. What a great way. That's how I got hooked up with Jeremy. By, by trying to be surrounded by people who are doing the kind of things I want to do. So we're going to share our ideas with you tonight. Primarily, what we're going to be talking about tonight is a buy and hold strategy. Some people say, well, well it's not, that's not really sexy. I mean, I want to go out and flip houses, and I want to, I want to do fancy deals. We've, we've done every kind of fancy, crazy deal that you can imagine. 
And it's a funny thing, when you spend 20 years buying real estate, I tried everything that I could think of, and I came full circle right back to the simplest, easiest strategy there is, and that's a buy and hold. Now what we do nowadays, and what we're gonna talk to you tonight about, is we, we have ways of buying and holding real estate where we can get paid when we buy it, not only in equity, but in cash. And we can still keep the property. And then when we rent the properties, maybe we're gonna do a lease option, so we're gonna get paid again for the house. And we're gonna, uh, other things that are important to us that we see eye to eye on is we don't wanna make too much money. That's another chapter in my book. I don't wanna earn too much money. We wanna earn just enough to survive. And then everything else that comes through my fingers, I want it to end up as equity, okay? So we're building something here. Where you, you work hard for 20 years. How many people here know somebody who makes a ton of money? I got a lot of friends. They make twice as much money as me, three times as much money as me. They still don't have a whole lot. They don't seem to have anything when it's all said and done. Their partner, the government, is taking 40% of everything they make. And then they're surrounded by other people who are very successful, so they feel a lot of pressure to live a high-class lifestyle, drive nice cars, have nice houses, go on big trips, get a boat, blah, blah, blah. At the end of the day, they've got nothing. Okay? This business can pay you back 10 times over for what you put into it. That's why I love it. So we're going to talk tonight about building something. My, uh, my book, for those of you who don't know, it's uh, Addicted to Real Estate, Why I Can't Stop and Why You Should Start. And what I tried to do when I wrote this book was I tried to, I, I've read tons of real estate books, and uh, a lot of them are, are pretty boring and repetitious, okay? A lot of them are repetitious. They tell you the same thing you've read in every book you ever picked up. So I purposely tried not to write about any of those things. I tried to write about the kind of things that I've done in my career which are very unique. Like, uh, like Jeremy said, I took a whole portfolio of residential properties and I sold them all off and 1031 them all into commercial properties. And there's not many people who have done that. And so that's something unusual that I've done. I've spent <coughs> years chasing commercial deals. So I have all kinds of crazy stories about me trying to buy multi-million dollar buildings when I had like no money in the bank. And they're, they're hilarious stories, and, and you'd be amazed at how, uh, you know, some of my best properties today are, are properties that if they had just asked me one question, Mr. Falcone, show us the money. Uh, I would have never bought the deal. It would have never happened because I didn't have the money. But you figure out a way to do things. So on the front cover of my book, I like to show people this picture. Uh, they, some people look at it and they laugh, and uh, it wasn't meant to be funny. And other people look at it and they go, that's a, that's a cute picture, whatever. It wasn't really meant to be cute. This, this little picture, for me, represents my whole real estate philosophy. This is my wife here. She's saying, Phil, honey, are you listening? And I'm not listening because I'm addicted to real estate. So I'm sitting there thinking about real estate. And in my balloon, it says, a $12 million portfolio with a 7% annual increase is $840,000 a year in equity. And the point I'm trying to make there is, uh, where are you gonna make that kind of money? Where are you gonna make that kind of money? CEOs of corporations that earn $1.2 million don't even bring home 840 grand. They bring it, they're bringing home maybe 700. Th this business can pay you back in, in huge portions. What could you do with $840,000 tax free? I mean, you're not gonna have all that money in your hands. It's gonna be equity, but you could read five buildings. You could sell a building when you need some money. It's a million things you can do with it in this business. So this is a great way to uh, get some money in, in this world. <coughs> this is exactly what I plan to be doing. I don't want to be working hard. I want to be sitting on a beach counting $840,000 a year in equity. So I don't want to work hard like my friends that make the big bucks. I don't care what other people think of me or how much money you make, how much money I make. That's not important. It's how much you have at the end. Are you building something? I'm building something. I'm building a portfolio.